Hiya, my name's Marie and you're watching Marie Stuff. So, how are you doing today? Have you done something fun yet? Well, let's do something fun together. Like, have a go at these uh, crochet hooks that I promised you. And I, w I did plan on doing some fancy, possibly, scenery inside, but I'm just not up to it, guys. I really not. So we're just going to have some fun with glitter. Why not? Maybe some inclusions. Let's see. <laughs> and UV resin because, you know, it's fairly quick and easy. So I'm going to start off by pouring out some UV resin. Now I've had a few um, new subscribers recently. So I just want to go through a few things. I'm not a teacher. This is not a tutorial. Uh, this is how I do things and I just like to have a bit of fun and let you guys join in. So if you're up for a bit of fun and don't want to take life too seriously, great, join with me. I would say um, do things the way I do them at your own risk. I don't, I do advise you wear gloves. I do advise you use um, a breathing thingy mask. That's the one when you're doing, particularly when you're doing one-to-one um, -one resin or epoxy resin as it's called. Um, Cause that stuff, even when it says it's safe, I still, if you're doing a lot of it particularly, I still wouldn't trust it. Okay, this is UV resin, it's generally not as bad, I seem to not make as much mess with UV resin, so I'm generally quite happy to just do it like this because gloves and everything irritate my skin like you wouldn't believe. I've got a couple of health issues and I'm really going through it at the minute but hoping to have a surgery soon that should help me a great deal. Okay now all the boring stuff's over, let's have some fun! <laughs> right and I'm hoping, saying I don't make much mess, I'm hoping this isn't going to make too much mess. What I'm going to try and do, because I don't want too many bubbles in, is I'm going to just put that amount in, let it drop down. Come on. See that big bubble in there? And then it'll bring it down. Bubbles are not your friend. <laughs> Because crochet hooks, I don't know if anybody watching has used a crochet hook before, they have to be smooth. Because otherwise it gets really annoying because you're constantly, um, constantly, constantly, constantly tugging, tagging, uh, catching your wool or threads or whatever it is you're using. So yeah, it needs to be, oh these are really wobbly, oh, 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 yeah I always, in cases of spillage, I do always have wet wipes right next to me so that I can clean my hands straight away because I don't wear gloves. I do take some precautions because don't forget these are chemicals regardless of the fact that they make pretty things and nice things they're still chemicals okay and I'm hoping most of you are aware of resin and what have you by the time you get to my channel <laughs> 
there are loads of channels out there that tell you all the ins and outs of it so um, if you do have any questions put them in the comments section and I'll do my best to answer them I always do my best to answer them uh, it might be a few days take a few days for me to notice that there are ones there but I generally do notice eventually right let me move this a lot I was going to do two but I'm not because even with this thing that it's sat on I don't trust it enough to move it so I'm going to set it as it is I'm going to use um, a UV UV Sun Times 5 Plus, I think it's a 36 amp one, and I'm just going to put it on for a few minutes, and I will get back when it's time for demolding. See you in a second. Right, right, okay, it's just about set. I think it just needs to cool a bit more, but definitely going to have to sand it. At least these back edges that's for sure let's see oh, is it gonna turn out to be a decent crochet hook am I gonna be able to get it out <laughs> it's more to the point <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> even with headphones on there we go oh actually that matters it's nice and smooth just gonna have to sand these edges down a little bit but other than that yeah that's pretty what do you think right so I've done that one I'm gonna keep track of them <laughs> I'm putting them over there I'm not gonna do all of them guys because I don't really don't know how long I'm gonna be able to sit here but I'm gonna do a few okay Let's do one with some, I'm going to put some leaves in and maybe even some fruit. How's that? We'll see how it goes. Right, I uh, need some more UV resin. some out and if you're interested don't know if you are I'm using Viva Rosa UV resin at the moment I do use different ones it all depends what I can get there are some that I won't use but it all depends what I can get at the time okay um, actually I've got a couple of these bags they look good as well <laughs> I know I'm I'm terrible. I don't care. I just let's go with the multicolored one. There we go. A bit of everything in there. Look. There we go. Shaking it. Why am I shaking it? Your guess is as good as mine. Okay. Let's try and spread these out without putting in too many bubbles, Marie. Like I say, you know, not showing you how to do it, just showing you how I do it. <laughs> oh, right, let's get pouring some of this in. And I'm gonna do the same, pour it up to the top. Stop, squeeze and suck it down and squeeze out them bubbles. This 
one, but we'll see once I've put in some more bits. really floppy. They're great because they're really see-through for UV resin but they're also very floppy. <laughs> I'll sort them out in a minute. Let's do some of these as well. As you know, autumn, trick-or-treating, Who doesn't like some bats, eh? <laughs> well, it's good to give out fruit on trick or treat night, Halloween night, whatever you want to call it. Trouble, folks, having trouble. Oh, I mean, hands don't want to work. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that one. It's quite pretty, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, there's another one. Right, I thought for this next one. A smaller one. I thought for this next one, I might just let me move these bits. I might just have a go with a bit of these, just in different places, so that it's kind of random all over. So I'm going to have a go. it in just like that and then paint this one in as well Let's see if that'll go in there a bit probably won't go in the other side but of what I do. <laughs>
going to use these actually to try and keep it upright. I thought it was falling over maybe because I had it on that other map, but it's still falling over. So I'm going to get it so that it's straight, but it doesn't fall over. Right, I thought we put some purple glitter in. What do you think? I like that one. Both. <laughs> Yay. Put it all in. Here we go. I didn't quite have enough, so I'm just going to make sure I've got enough this time. Probably got too much now, but sometimes you live in there and sometimes you're called Marie. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go, we know. Oh, I need to use this one. Cool. often like um, sort of dark um, kind of oh uh, what's what am I looking for kind of almost goth but not quite um, doings but there are some times when I'm in in a let's do glitter mood and today was one of those days just need brightening up a little bit and I'm sure there's others out there that need brightening up a bit too so I thought we'd give this a go right let's see how this does oh sugar yeah that's my hands going pesky bubbles because they like to find a way in. I haven't 
looked at my camera so I don't know if you can see this, sorry if you can't. got it this time. Looks like it. Right, I am going to put it under the, um, under the light and I will be back in a minute. Well, a minute, a couple of minutes for me, second for you. Okay, see you in a second. Hi, right, I'm back. It's all set. I'm hoping there's not too many bubbles in there. Uh, I had planned on doing the whole set for you. I've still got quite a few to do, but my hands have now had it. I'm making silly mistakes. So maybe in another video sometime, maybe it's just an added extra. I don't know, but I won't be finishing them today. And I've left it too late to do this for you able to do it another day. <laughs> My dog Dash really wants me to go and sit down. If you don't know I've got a, um, a dog that helps me, an assistance dog, I couldn't think of the word then. But yeah, oh, it's nice and pretty isn't it? It's different. You can just kind of see the shifts, the colour shifts. will be filling in the numbers because obviously you can only see them when you gl glint them in the light. I don't even know if you guys can see them. But yeah. And so here's all three. Is that when I have um, touched these up but they still need like a um, just a bit of a coat of resin. I just use like a um, nail varnish applicator that I've put, because I've run around with that ages ago, that I've just put some of my UV resin in. So yeah, um, I know I did a third one, here we go, <laughs> here's all three of them, sorry I couldn't do them all but yeah, health being it what it is at the minute, just not going to happen. Okay, hope you like the video, thanks for watching. Well, that's everything thank you for watching my video if you liked it please like and subscribe if you didn't let me know how i can improve in the comment section below please be kind i'm not a professional so just remember when you take away all the squishy parts we're all just skeletons aren't we try being kind to each other thanks for watching bye